finding your own true self doesn't mean shutting yourself from everyone around you. And singer-songwriter Rashid Bika believes that we are all linked by a common thread of humanity. This has influenced his life and art, as he explained to Kriya. When Rashid Bika had barely hit his teenage years, he already had a number of album credits as a vocalist. And it was pretty clear that he would follow in the footsteps of his illustrious father Zayn. Since then, his voice has mellowed and he's developed his own style and artistic vision. But there's still something boyish about his enthusiastic and unassuming nature. Rashid, how are you? Hey, how's it going? That sounds amazing. Thank you. Rashid, I think we should start at the beginning and kind of work our way down. What was it like growing up? It was uh, really cool. You know, my dad was uh, an artist. Uh, he's a Nasheed singer. So growing up in a household like that, there's obviously a lot of musical influence, a lot of crazy trips where you meet a lot of extremely talented musicians. It started when I was about nine years old. My dad was working on an album with Cat Stevens, now known as uh, Yusuf Islam. From there, he kind of needed a youngster's voice and my dad recommended me and from there, I just kind of took off. I did hear that you were going to perform for us today. Yes. All right. Some of the new stuff, I mean, I did release my new album, my new solo album. So uh, some of the stuff is really, really catchy and really nice. Let's do it. Cool. Degrees of Separation is Rashid's debut album and it's generated a number of successful singles. She covers up a clothes Trying to hide a broken home I'm all alone Fly away with the spirit of blaze On the flames of fate To see them brighter days Break away from these walls in time I'll know the possibilities of letting go Say goodbye to hurt and sorrow Cause I believe in me So please believe in me oh, Woohoo! That's absolutely amazing. It's uh, one of the new, new songs on the album. So the album has quite a message behind it. Why did you decide to go in that direction? Well, the album is called Degrees of Separation. Where I got the title from was Six Degrees of Separation. So everyone's connected. Everyone is connected by these so-called Six Degrees of Separation. And it's quite interesting because a lot of the people that came into my life influenced me in quite a way. And a lot of the songs on the album are actually about my journey as an artist, as a person, spiritually. So it kind of just added to that, so it made sense to call it Degrees of Separation. So it's a brand new album, you just released it, and you got to work with international producers on the album. How did that come about? Dries Phillips, he's one of the most amazing musicians uh, I've had the chance of working with and knowing. I needed a producer to get a different kind of sound. So in terms of that, he was a fantastic help. Rashid is very serious about turning good intentions into concrete action and he's travelled to drought-stricken areas of Africa to assist in the work being performed by relief organisations. You're in a space where your creativity isn't only in your music, it's also in your cinematography. How did you get into that? Well, I wouldn't say I'm a cinematographer yet. <laughs> but uh, I definitely studied cinematography and I'm aspiring to be a cinematographer. I've always been around uh, music videos a lot for my dad as well. And then I went to study. As soon as I graduated, I actually recorded a few of my dad's music videos for oh, him. Wow. Okay. So he got it at a cheap price. <laughs> or cheaper didn't price. He didn't even pay for it. I feel like he didn't. No, no. <laughs> But uh, I mean, he did, uh, he did get what he wanted, essentially. So I want to see cool. some of your work. Yeah, that's cool. Let's go. Let's Rashid's latest project combines music and images to highlight the plight of children who find themselves far from home as a result of war, political turmoil and natural disasters. So this is one of my favorite songs on the album. It's called uh, Love Can Save a Life. And what I decided to do with this song is I wanted to do a tribute video to all of the work that uh, Islamic Relief have done. So I incorporated their footage from all over the world that they've shot and uh, I've linked it to my song. So it's kind of a tribute to 
for them to showcase the work that they've done using my song and my music using their videos and their wow. visuals. Well, thank you so much for letting me hang out with you today. It has been really nice to get to know you a little bit better. And we wish you all the luck with everything that you're doing in the future. And uh, maybe we can take part in the movie one day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come audition. <laughs>